Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 episode 31 of Sodor Online Alicization War of Underworlds. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, alright, let's just, let me get through this whole damn episode, please, because literally had the worst experience trying to watch this damn episode two hours ago. And no, I didn't get spoiled. I know, only a friend was here, right? Right? I just want to say, imagine two hours ago when you were ready to watch this damn episode, you wanted to watch this first, right? First. And you download the episode and you think you have the whole freaking episode and you watch it and you don't pay attention to see the minute timer and you find out that the first nine minutes of this episode is all that they freaking have. And so you're like, okay. All right, but we learned the truth about, you know, Ren and everything. I'm a little heartbroken about that. I hope you learn a little bit more into this episode. And then you'll watch Fake Grand Order and you're like, okay, gee, this can't get any worse. Oh, it got worse. It got worse. And honestly, I just, I can't. I was like, I, I had a good day today until the SAO fuck up. Between that and the shit that happened with me with Amazon, I'm like, oh, God. Which was worse. I think this was worse. Amazon was okay, because I'm fucking over that shit now. But this kind of pissed me off. I was like, oh, okay, getting a good. And then it just, like, froze on me. And I was just like, what the fuck? I thought it was my computer. I thought my computer was going to die on me for a moment. But, uh. So please don't fuck up. I don't want to watch this, like, a third time. I don't want to watch the first nine minutes for a third time. Please. I beg you. No. God, I hate that little shit thing. I want to kill him even though he's dead. Right? Yeah, that's like safe. Even so, but you're so important, Ren. You can still fight. You just you gotta get your courage up. Yeah. 
Hmm. You poor thing. I should be there to smell. Holy shit. Now see, I was wondering when I was watching this the first time of the nine minutes. They couldn't open something in the back and then go through there. I mean, they could all ran out. No, you know why? I'm so stupid. The wheelchair that Kitty chose in because they have to pick him up. So, huh? <sighs> almost there. Just three more minutes, and then I'm. I, that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, happened so quick, didn't it? But you didn't mean to. It just happened. It's either kill or you'll be killed. I mean, I don't want to say he has, like, PTSD from it, but that could be one of the other tricky things of why he ran away. You know what I'm kind of getting with this? <laughs> you know how, like, in the first 10 minutes of Simple Gear, Kanade died? And because I didn't know her, I didn't feel anything. I kind of feel something for this guy, even though we just met him. But still, I mean, you know, at the same time, I can't because he died. But it still hurt. Okay, there we go. I'm now all fucking caught up. I mean, question also, is that the only weapon you have? You ain't got no sword, no, no bow and arrow, just, you know, that. And you are going to go out there. Yes. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad. Oh.
just if you die, die a hero. Be like my best girl from FTO. Even though I don't want to talk about that. Mm hmm. Is that the Goblin King? Yeah, I'm guessing so. Yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but see, what you gonna do with the weapons you have? He has a sword. Can we be honest about that? You just got boomerang knives. No. He gonna die a badass or something. No, no. That's what we wanna do. Either die as a hero or badass as fuck and just mm, being known for something. Now, if I don't kill that fucking Goblin King, now I'm ca ugh, captain. I don't know what will. No, I, I, it's gonna... No, it, it's gonna kill him. Mm -hmm. Oh, far. Well, okay, hold up. Okay, no. It would have been so much better if it was blood. I understand SAO sometimes does not want to show blood, but l l let's go back to last week. You showed nothing but blood. And this week, it's just like, no, let's just take a step back. <laughs> oh, my God. So now you better not die. I mean, I'm starting to like you. You're very interesting. And usually any character who is interesting at fuck usually ends up dying for some sort. Like, maybe not now, but later on.
This is gonna get a lot worse, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. No wonder he is an OP as fuck character. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stupid thing. Mm -mm. Well, you know, shit happens, you know? I mean, you could go out there yourself and then get killed, and then, you know, we can move on. You sure about that, though? It's a good question. But that could be enough. I don't know. I mean, she's taken so much, but yeah. you just don't know what the hell could possibly happen. I mean, we got like what two minutes left, three minutes left.
<laughs> well, okay. Y'all gonna die. I mean, because both of y'all really didn't have any names anyway, so. And we had to have one that has a cutesy voice. She gonna die. Okay, because uh, I, I think some of y'all probably knew what I was gonna ask, and I was like, "Let me, let me not." Holy shit, uh, Alice! Darkness, what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, um, the way you, that transition from the major to the orb, I mean, it made me assume for a moment, and I ain't gonna know until people comment on this, um, that they were in the orb, and I was like, okay, maybe she's gonna cut it out. No, no, I need to now finally be able to see this whole episode without just going into the nine minutes and then fucking up because of the stupid download that I did, which is totally my fault. But still, I really like Renly, and I hope he doesn't die. I hope no one else dies. Don't care about the, you know, the bad guys. Because no, no matter what, they have to die. But still, I'm glad Kirito's okay. Everyone, uh, just, oh God. Alice, what the fuck, girl? I, I mean, we are, you know, Alice is OP as fuck. But I wasn't, you know, I mean, some things I was expecting. I just fuck. I, I don't know anymore. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, also, let me go to talking about Rudley again. I don't think he didn't mean to kill his friend. It just happened. And I think, personally, after that and seeing that part over again, he kind of blames himself in a way. Even though he didn't say it necessarily, just the way he was hesitating on getting his weapons and the way it looks like it, by his facial expressions and his body language that like he has a lot of PTSD from that and one minute I mean because like the way that fight felt like it felt like a killer key built a uh, big kill type of moment where you know it makes you wonder like what could have possibly happened if he didn't kill his friend it just happened or like if his friend actually killed him because then his friend possibly would have been an integrity knight but no thing you know mm. but I mean it, it just, it went by quick. Too fucking quick. I mean, I think this is probably going to be one of those episodes that I might have to rewatch over again. It's, even though, yeah, like I said, we didn't get to see it in parts anymore. We got to see the whole damn episode. But still, you know, seeing them first nine minutes, two hours ago, and then still remembering it while it was going, and then getting to see the rest of it play out. And I'm just like, okay, what the fuck? But I, I don't know. I mean... I, I don't know. I, I, like, I don't know what else to say about it. It was good. I enjoyed it a lot, but still, like, holy shit, I just wasn't expecting that last little bit towards the end. I mean, goddamn, like, it makes me wonder, and I think it is true, like, um, every Integrity Night technically has this somewhat OP as fuck move. I mean, the fuck? <laughs> just, what the fuck? <laughs> And some of them, some of them decide to wait on the perfect moment because it seems like to me they could only use it once and they can never truly really use it again. You know, bleach standards or some shit like that. But, I mean, there are some ways where they could probably use it again. I'm glad What's-Her-Face came back in this episode because as I, um, I think I said in the previous one of the nine minutes that I did, 
even though she's dead and it's still like, oh, hey, yeah, she's not here anymore. It was just nice to see her to have a flashback episode. But I I'm glad she's dead, even though I still liked her as villain. And I don't necessarily like our other villain because to me, I felt like his backstory and the shit and the fact that he is crazy as fuck. I mean, he need help. And I, I just hope that they put him out of his misery ASAP. Same with thing with the dude who I assume is from Laughing Coffin, but I really don't know until maybe we get a backstory on him. I would like to have a backstory on him because he is officially, I think, the very last character who necessarily we need to know at least something about. And maybe it, it may not be next week it could be like several weeks from now maybe before christmas break uh we finally get to know if he's truly in laughing coffin but y'all like novel readers y'all know that ish i don't know anything other than that guys that is my reaction to to it's episode 31 of sort of online alicization war of underworld if you guys are ready please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the magical squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 32. Bye!